Hi, my name is Erin Aljo. I'm the manager and curator here at the Lasis Museum of Lace and Textiles. So I'd like to talk about some of the different types of laces. There are two main types of laces that are considered the true laces. One is bobbin lace, which is made on a pillow with bobbins holding the threads that are manipulated or woven, you could say, and knotted to form the lace. And the other way is with a needle and thread, and that's called needle lace. And that's done using different types of buttonhole stitch, different variations of buttonhole stitch. So bobbin lace is considered um, the lace that came out second. But here are some great examples of bobbin lace collars and cuffs to give you an idea. Needle lace is considered a lot older, and um, can, you can find very old pieces that, that almost look like uh, braids as opposed to lace, but it eventually develops into lace, which is pretty wonderful and fantastic. Now there's other types of laces that um, are made that are equally as beautiful as needle lace and bobbin lace, but for whatever reason they're not called true laces, and it doesn't mean that we don't love them as much. Lace was a very popular item, a very high luxury item, and in the 17th century, men in particular were the wearers of lace. Collars that you see, even in Rembrandt paintings, you'll find they'll be wearing sumptuous needle lace as a very conspicuous sign of wealth and power. Here I have a lot of examples of fillet lace. Fillet lace is uh, done um, where you make a grid, you knot a grid, and then you go back through embroidering your pattern using darning stitch, and that's how fillet is done. One thing that is very common though is crocheted fillet, which mimics this. Um, but this is the stuff that's actually done, um, and it's called lacis, which is where we get our name.